Hey guys, Cyclone here from Psyche Prods on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Do me a big favor like I always ask, I'm going to ask again. Like, follow, share the channel. Hit that subscribe button so you know every time a video gets posted. Drop a comment, drop a question. I answer everything and anything. Nothing is off limits. Um, so I'm still trying to get the stench of the upper deck situation out of my mouth, out of my brain. So we're going to get right back up on this pony and we're going to try something new, kind of new. Picked up a 2023 Panini Elite Extra Edition Baseball Hobby Box. Five cards per pack, five packs per box. Um, possibles are Dylan Cruz, Paul Skeens, Jacob Wilson, obviously some parallels and autos, hoping by the way for one of these one of one black die cuts, which would be really, really nice. Um, Kyle Teal is in the set, um... George Lombard Jr. is in the set. Red Louder. Colton Ledbetter's in the set. Although, probably the, the two big names are, in fact, Dylan Cruz and Paul Skeens. Um, also, Chase uh, Dollander is in the set. Would be nice to hit. Or an Enrique Bradfield Jr. would be nice. But we'll see what we get. We'll get what we see. Rubbing for some good luck because I can use some luck. Of course, opening the box from the wrong side is not necessarily a good start. Ah, there we go. Duh! Open from the front, not from the side. Ah, uh, it's one of those slow days. Once again, I got the fan going, so that's the little noise you hear in the background. Anyways, one, two, three, four, and five. Did not get gypped or cheated out of a pack. Um, hopefully we pull some good stuff. And supposedly, there are eight graphs and two mems per box on average. So that's not guaranteeing, unlike Upper Deck with that three hit guarantee. Anyways, time to let that go. Time to get something new going. And right off the bat, Dylan Cruz. Gonna sleeve that bad boy up really nice. And it's numbered. It's not a relic, but it is numbered. It is number 18 of 199. How cool. First pack, first card. Mr. Dylan Cruz. Starting us off the right way. Let's get that right there. Okay, Brandon Wickor and an auto. It is Justin Reimer. Very nice auto. Not numbered, but we will do right by him and sleeve it up. Very nice. And we have ourselves a multi relic Brian Arauza. Not numbered, but how sweet is this card? 
out of the Dominican Prospect League, hence the DPL. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Very nice, very nice. First packs going really good for me so far. And we close it out with a Tanner Hall. Feels like a chrome, but really nice. Okay, first pack. Not bad. The stench of the uh, upper deck hack, uh, Space Jam's box is cleanly away from me now. Second pack. Future Star. Matt Shaw. Red, white, and blue. Is this numbered? No. But very, very nice. Match on the red, white, and blue future star status. We have a green Andres Capoeiro. That is numbered 200. At a four ninety-nine. Gonna sleeve him up. I'll do that with all numbered and stuff. Just because. Now I get back here. Falling off. There we go. And a second auto, Josh Rivera. Not numbered, but very... I hope he has a long, long career and keeps an autograph that looks like that and doesn't become something like a JR or a no, nah, don't bother me, I'm not signing, get away from me. Which is sadly the way most baseball players have turned out. But a very nice autograph from this youngster. We have a, another big hit. Chase Dollander Relic. Very nice on this one. Not numbered. Very sweet. This one's definitely getting sleeved. So, so far, this box has been very, very good, and we are now officially done with our second pack with Leo DeVries. All right, so. This box I am happy with so far. And we still have three more packs to go. So, sticky weather here in New York. Rainy all week. And spellbound. Red Jacob Gonzalez. Not numbered, but very sweet looking card. And we pull in another green. Status, Nazin Zantanello. Number 318 out of 499. I don't know how clear that came out. But it is, in fact, 318 out of 499. 
very happy with this box. And we have another auto, our third one. Oh, wow. Back to back impact impressions autos. Bobby Snelling and Hunter Barco. Back to back and a belly to belly. Neither are ordered. And we close this pack out with Diego Ortiz. That is nice. Back to back graphs. I don't care how bad their players are or how good they are, you get back to back autos in a pack. That's a good pack. Cannot deny that. This is a very, very good box. No denying that. Panini has done it right by me today. Two packs left. I mean, between the Dylan Cruz and the Chase Dollander, I mean, the only one really left is Paul Skeens. Maybe we pull one of him in the last two packs. And another Dylan Cruz. Higher learning. Not numbered. Put down aside for now. Ralphie Velasquez. On, it looks like a foil refractor. And it's numbered at two. It is 142 out of 200 on the foil of Ralphie Velasquez. I'm going to run out of easels soon. And I'm going to run out of space. Put this Dylan Cruz up in front. So two Dylan Cruises in the box. Cannot go wrong with that. A Chase Dollinger. A couple of greens. All these autos. I am very, very happy. Pull some more easels out. And we have our next auto, and it's a die cut auto. Oh, wow, and it's followed by another auto, too. Back-to-back -back autos, again, Willie Sanders on the die cut, 48 out of 68, slam dunking me here, this, look, like I said, I don't know how these guys are going to turn out, nobody does, but this is a good box, holy smokes. Holy Frejotes. And right behind him is a David McGee blue on the hidden gems. And oddly, that one's not numbered, but I mean, the way it looks, you would think it's numbered, but it's not. I'm not going to argue or complain about that. Come back here. There we go. And we close out that next to last pack with a Justin Reimer. This box, last pack, last pack mojo. Hopefully something more big. Although I'm happy with the two Dylan Cruises, not going to lie. Okie dokie, turn this bad boy around, we have a Spellbound, Enrique Bradfield Jr., one of the guys we needed, not numbered, but we are sleeping, as he was, like I said, another one of the guys we wanted, 
Enrique Bradfield Jr. We have a green, not die cut, Yandel Ricardo. And this one is number two. 426 out of 499. Very nice. So just a couple of base cards, everything else is been a sweet hit. Wow, they did it again. Another back-to-back -back autograph situation. Dylan Cruz on the auto, our third Dylan. So we got the higher learning Dylan. We got the Spellbound Dylan. And now we got the Auto Dylan. This box, as far as I'm concerned, is a slamming hit. Not numbered. And I am officially out of easel, so... Just, let's put that... There. We have a blue Jordan Sprinkle... Auto on the blue hidden gems not numbered but definitely getting sleeved and like I said I have run out of easels so just gonna have to sit up in front woo and we close it out with Joe Vitrano So, wow, the Dylan Hidden Spellbound, the Dylan Higher Learning, the Dylan Cruise Auto, Bing Bing Bing, the Chase Dollander Relic, Ding, the Enrique Bradfield Junior Spellbound. Bunch of blues, bunch of greens. The die cut. Cannot go wrong. Two thumbs up with this box. Anyways, guys. Cyclone, Psyche Prize, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I'm back on the roll. Back on the ball. Back on the schneid. Um, like, follow, share, subscribe. Hit that icon bell so you know whenever a video gets posted. Drop a comment. Let me know how great you think this box is. I think it's wonderful. But let's hear how you think it is. Um, coming up soon, I'm going to give be doing a free giveaway on the YouTube channel. So you're going to want to subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah. Drop a comment. Drop a question. Let me know what you guys think. Until next video, it's Cyclone saying, peace out, homies.